All right, let's talk about men's health. Dr. Jeffrey Sterling is a national leader in community-based medicine, health care, and public health. He's the author of Straight No Chaser Health, empowering you for better health and a longer life. Dr. Sterling, it is good to have you on the show. Good to see you. Likewise, always good to be with you. Yes, all right, so let's talk about men's health. Um, you have some advice for men in terms of tests that they need to be taking throughout their entire life, starting in the 30s. Um, but before we talk about that, I know that for a lot of men, there's a hesitancy to go to the doctor and get things checked out. Um, you know, so what can you say first to encourage men to be proactive in their health and doing what they need to do to stay healthy? That's the exact correct question because men are actually the lowest utilizers of the healthcare system prior to about age 35 and even up until 45. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, that translates into a higher rate of the two leading causes of death in the 50s, which is heart attacks and cancer. Mm -hmm. So men really need to pay a little bit more attention and regardless of any trepidation that you may have about utilizing the healthcare system, you can actually be a steward of your own health. So this actually begins with prevention. If you do a good job with your diet, and activity or exercise, you actually can stave off a lot of what otherwise would be trying to get at you. But remember, men are about 24% less likely to visit the physician for a regular checkup than women. So that's a problem that we have to kind of get over. Okay. Now, in terms of it all, think about that as self-screening. An ounce of prevention is always better than a pound of cure. But the most important thing that men need to start thinking about is just get a regular physical examination. I'm going to talk about some of the things that you get in terms of screenings, but remember, you can actually take care of a lot of this yourself at home just by living healthy. So when you see a doctor, there's a couple of basic things. Doctors are going to screen you for depression and anxiety, mental health matters. We're going to talk about diet and exercise. We're going to talk about alcohol and tobacco use and safety, like seat belts and smoke detectors. There's a list of the 10 most common causes of death and the whole process of screening you and evaluating you is to make sure that you reduce your risk for getting and dying those things. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. a physical exam really is kind of the key to it all. And how, so we'll how often there. do would you say that men need to be going to the doctor for a physical exam? Thank, thanks for that question because we tend to believe that a screening tool is how I feel and that is not at all the case. As a matter of fact, high blood pressure, hypertension is called the silent killer. Mm. So just because you feel good doesn't mean that something isn't growing or stewing inside of you. Mm -hmm. And if you wait until illness arrives to show up at the front door of an emergency department, you've not done well. Mm -hmm. So men really would do well to develop a habit of interacting with physicians similar to what females do. A, a physical exam every year is a beautiful thing and no news is good news. So I don't know if men want to avoid these evaluations as much as we like to believe that we're too busy to get them, but we really need to prioritize health so that we don't have to deal with disease. Okay. So let's just start by saying every year you should be thinking about these things. Okay. And so let's switch gears a little bit. Talking about COVID, there have been studies to suggest that there have been more heart attacks um, since COVID. Can you talk a little bit more about that and how that's impacted particularly uh, the black community? But first of all, correlation isn't the same as causation. You know, there's, you can also say that year over year, there are more car crashes and many other things that are problematic. So the point to be made is that there are some very simple things that you can do to avoid COVID. And we know that as we learn more and more about long COVID, we learn that the inflammation that occurs affects your vessels throughout your body, including your heart. So very simply put, if you follow the things that we've always talked about in preventing COVID, you will actually reduce your risk. But there are common things happen commonly. And the common, more common things that actually uh, put you at risk for having heart attack are the things that you should be more concerned with. So I want to keep it simple, if I may, mm -hmm. and just say continue to focus on your diet, your exercise, and otherwise healthy living, and you'll take care of it. As we've said for a couple of years now, if you really want to avoid COVID, Learn how to operate outside of six feet of those that are around you and wear a mask when you think you're in a high risk situation. Obviously, there's a schedule for you getting immunized, but it's the basic things that really will keep you healthy. OK, and then in terms of vaccinations, um, is it true that getting a vaccination for COVID can actually reduce the potential risks of heart attack? 
And that's a good way to describe it. So people are disillusioned with both the COVID vaccine and the flu vaccine because it doesn't necessarily stop you from getting these things. And what it actually does is it dramatically reduces the risk from you dying from these things. So you taking a vaccine has nothing to do with someone coughing in your face and spewing viral particles into your lungs. Mm -hmm. So stop thinking that vaccines actually stop you from getting the diseases. But what they actually do a fantastic job of is preventing you from dying from these diseases. So that's a distinction with the difference that people should be aware of. All right. Well, that's a great point. Dr. Sterling, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you being on the show. Dr. Sterling's book is Straight No Chaser Health, empowering you for better health and a longer life. It's available everywhere books are sold.